Hello! Welcome to the Wild Animal Sanctuary, the largest and oldest sanctuary for large carnivores in the world. I'm Maria, and I'm excited to introduce you to all of the amazing work that we're doing here. Before we head out on the walkway, I'd like to explain a bit of what you'll be seeing when you're out there. So, let's get going. Many times people come here thinking that the sanctuary is kind of like a zoo. While yes, we do have many of the same animals, the work that we do here is very different. The sanctuary is a nonprofit organization that is dedicated to educating people about the captive wildlife crisis while providing large habitats for these amazing creatures. The vast majority of the animals you're going to see today were confiscated from illegal and abusive situations by law enforcement agencies. For example, the Wild Animal Sanctuary is now home to over 140 tigers that were rescued from the infamous Tiger King Parks, made famous on Netflix's hit show. Often, the government agencies are faced with two choices, euthanize the animals or have them come to the sanctuary. Since the animals were raised in captivity, releasing them into the wild isn't an option. The Wild Animal Sanctuary provides an incredible new life for these rescued animals in our four facilities, three in Colorado and one in Texas. And we are home to over 700 rescued animals who will live here for the rest of their life in a comfortable and safe environment. We're also really excited to introduce you to the Wild Animal Refuge, which is in Southern Colorado. It's nearly 10,000 acres of canyons, cliffs, trees, and caves. It's the perfect home for these animals with such rugged wilderness. The refuge is nearly six miles long and three and a half miles wide and is over 14 square miles and the habitats there can be over 240 acres in size. We've also expanded into helping other species of animals as well. In 2023, the sanctuary opened our newest facility, the Wild Horse Refuge. With over 22,000 acres of land, it's our largest facility, with plenty of room for the herds of wild mustangs to roam freely. With the new horse refuge, the Wild Animal Sanctuary is now made up of over 30,000 acres of freedom. This much land means we can continue our work of providing exceptional freedom to the animals we rescue long into the future. This facility is the only one open to the public, but the work we do here impacts every single animal in our care. Most of the animals were rescued from private citizens who thought they could have a lion, a tiger, a bear, or other large exotic animal as a pet. I mean, they start out small and cute, but pretty soon you have a 600 pound tiger with razor sharp teeth and claws as a house pet. Crazy, right? Today, there are more than 25,000 large carnivores living outside the public zoo system in the US. It's gotten so bad, in fact, that today the world's largest concentration of tigers isn't in the jungles overseas, but is actually located in private residences throughout Texas. Many of these tigers were bred to provide have your picture taken with a cute little tiger cub photo opportunities. When the cubs become too old for this, they're sold to roadside zoos and traveling attractions, kept as exotic pets, or killed to make way for younger animals. The global captive wildlife problem is so large that many of our rescues happen in other countries, as well as the United States. Some of the animals you're going to see today have come from as far away as Argentina, Spain, Bolivia, and even South Korea. The ultimate goal with every rescued animal is to gently introduce them to living in a large open habitat with others of their kind. But many times it takes a long time to get there. It's a pretty involved process. Imagine what it would be like to be born in a dark room, to be behind bars every day of your life and never have seen another human being. And then all of a sudden you meet another person for the first time that's what it's like for many of our animals. 
Coming into the habitat is their first experience with other animals of their own kind. Quite often, a new tiger is terrified of other tigers because all they knew were people or dogs. For others, the moment they step out into the sanctuary is the first time they've felt grass and dirt underfoot as they've lived every day inside of concrete cages with little more than disgusting soiled straw for bedding. As you tour the sanctuary, you're going to see a variety of habitats and enclosures. This facility is made up of over 790 acres of open space with habitats that range in size from five to 25 acres. The work we're doing at all four facilities has pioneered a truly innovative rehabilitation process that helps an animal make the transition from small cage all the way to open habitat. As you walk along the elevated walkway, you'll notice large habitats and then also smaller enclosures, which house animals in various stages of rehabilitation. Each size enclosure is an important step in the process. Remember, many of these animals are used to living in incredibly confined spaces and cages. To immediately force them to live in a huge space would be terribly traumatizing. So we introduce them slowly to get them used to the idea of being out in the open. Our goal is to build their confidence, to make them feel safe, secure, and then when they're ready for it, introduce them to the sweet life in the open habitat with some newfound tiger or lion buddies. The only exception to this is a few of our older animals who prefer to stay in smaller enclosures. This assisted living is where they get special treatment, daily medications, and live out their life in sweet, sweet luxury without all of the adventure of the large habitats. It's kind of like a sweet retirement home with comfy couches, jello, and bingo. Big cats can live up to 24 years and bears as long as 40. And we're honored to be able to provide the best possible care for our older population of animals, as well as our younger animals. It takes a lot of work to keep this place running. Our team is made up of many amazing staff and volunteers who truly care about the lives of these extraordinary animals. Our rescue teams travel throughout the world, rescuing animals from concrete pits, cages, basements, and backyards. Many of our animals who are rescued come to us malnourished, in terrible health, and sometimes unable to walk or even close to death. Our team of medical professionals work together with the animal care team to nurse them back to health as a part of the early stages of the rehabilitation process and continually monitor their well-being for the rest of their life here. Each day, thousands of pounds of meat and other food is served to the animals. Much of the food is donated by companies and individuals who truly care about these amazing creatures. Others are dedicated to helping educate our visitors, doing presentations in schools, and educating about the captive wildlife crisis. It truly takes an army to ensure the health, well-being, and love that each animal receives. So, now that you know a little more about us, let's talk about what you'll be experiencing today at the sanctuary. One of the first things you'll notice that's different than other sanctuaries and zoos is our one and a half mile long elevated walkway. We don't allow our visitors to be at ground level other than at the visitor center and parking lot. Why? Have you ever seen animals at zoos that, that pace back and forth? That's due to the stress caused by thousands of strangers standing at ground level at the edge of their territory and feeling they have no escape. Having a strange person they don't know come up to their enclosure is perceived as a direct threat to themselves and their safety. Interestingly, however, the animals don't consider the sky their territory. So if you're up on the walkway, they couldn't care less and go about their day without any sort of stress. The elevated walkway is one and a half miles long, which means you'll be traveling three miles round trip. So be sure you're prepared for an epic adventure before you set out. As you make your way along the walkway, you'll see volunteers in orange shirts, just like mine. Be sure to ask them any questions you might have, and they can also direct you to the restrooms and snack bars along the path. 
Each habitat has an audio kiosk on the walkway where you can listen to that particular animal's story. Be sure to stop by the Education Center over the Tiger Roundhouse. There you can learn a lot more about our work with the animals and even watch videos of actual rescues to see where these animals came from. Immediately beyond the Tiger Roundhouse is the halfway point of your journey where you can hit the snack bar, relax in the rest area, and use the restrooms before heading back for the return leg of your three mile round trip adventure. Many times our guests travel down the elevated walkway too quickly and they miss out on seeing animals that seamlessly blend into the environment of their massive habitats. This truly is the beauty of the sanctuary and why it's so different than a typical zoo. Our animals get to practice their expert skills of hide and seek in a massive natural environment with tons of awesome hiding places. So, if you move too quickly and you don't take the time to play the game, you'll miss out on the opportunity to see animals luxuriating in their expansive freedom. So, slow down and you'll be rewarded with an, an exceptional view of these magnificent animals enjoying their freedom. If you're having a hard time spotting the animals, feel free to ask one of the volunteers in orange shirts and they'll be happy to assist. Be sure to watch your step and use the handrails as you look for the animals. It's truly important to watch your step and be careful where you walk every bit of the way. We invite you to follow the sanctuary on social media so you can watch exclusive video premieres, register for exciting events, and discover more animals' heartwarming stories after your visit. You might even get to go behind the scenes at some of our rescues. So log in and like away. Now that you know what we do here at the sanctuary, here's a few rules that we need everyone to follow for a safe and enjoyable experience. Your safety and the animal safety is of utmost importance. Please work together with us to keep everyone safe. Parents and guardians, please keep your children with you at all times. There can be absolutely no running or making loud noises around the animals. Please be mindful of your hats and other clothing that may blow or fall off in the wind as they may fall below the walkway. Under no circumstances will we be able to retrieve any lost items, and they may cause an animal to injure themselves or cause sickness. Please do take care to hang on to everything you are taking with you today. Please place all trash in receptacles along with recyclable items in the specified containers. There can be absolutely no climbing on fences, benches, or chairs. And please do not move any of the furniture. Again, parents, please keep an eye on your little ones and keep them close at hand and under control. There is absolutely no smoking allowed on the property anywhere, including parking lots or in your car. Several of our bears were rescued from a circus that used nicotine in their training. They're incredibly sensitive to the smell of tobacco, so please respect our need for this rule and wait to light up until completely off property. There are no pets allowed on the property as well. If you happen to bring your pet and left them in the car, please do see one of our team members so that we can find a viable solution for your animal. If we discover a pet in a car, we will notify the Weld County Animal Control, who will remove the pet from your vehicle and take them to a humane shelter. Once you return from the walkway and are heading to your car, Please do not wander around the parking lot or go anywhere near the fences. It disturbs the animals and is strictly prohibited. As you walk along the walkway, the most important thing to remember, and if you only remember one thing I've shared with you today, please make it this. The sanctuary receives no federal or state funding and relies solely on donations from individuals like you to provide this amazing home for these animals. So, while the sanctuary is a massive operation with hundreds of staff and volunteers, four facilities, thousands of acres of land that are home to hundreds of rescued animals, the most important and integral part of this work is you. Your gift today, and in the days to come, is what creates this freedom. The gifts you give today will save an animal's life. I'd like to thank you for that. To acknowledge you for your tremendous 
love for these magnificent creatures. So, take your time along the walkway, soaking up the enormity, the beauty, the raw freedom that these animals get to experience for the first time in their lives. Open your heart to the amazing journey of each creature and prepare to have your life be forever changed by their stories. Welcome to the Wild Animal Sanctuary.